Example 62. Determine if the following is a probability distribution. So we have to check these two conditions when they ask us to check if something is a probability distribution. The first condition just says that all the probabilities must be reasonable. What that means is they must be between 0 and 1. They cannot be negative and they cannot be greater than 1. So let's look at our probabilities here. It looks to me that each of these is okay because none of them is negative and none of them is over 1. So because of that, we'll say that condition 1 is met. That's easy enough. Now condition 2 just says the sum of all the probabilities must add up to 1. This column, in other words, when you add it all up together, should be equal to 1. If it's more than 1, that's not okay because we're supposed to have all the possible outcomes and therefore all the probability for those possible outcomes should add up to exactly 100%. Now, if it were to add up to, say, 1.001, that's okay. That's probably just a rounding error. And likewise, if it added up to, say, 0.999, that's probably okay, too. But, you know, something like 0.986, that's not close enough, right? And also, you wouldn't want to accept just 0.99. That's not close enough, either. And likewise, if it was 101 or 1.01, again, that's too high. The 1% is too high. That's not just a simple rounding error. Okay, so let's check now and see if this is, in fact, a probability distribution. We already checked condition one. All the probabilities are good in that regard. Let's check to see if they add up to one. We could use a calculator to type all these in, but we could do it out loud, just kind of in our heads here, using rough numbers. So this is about 24%. Let's call that, you know, 16 just for an easy number. In fact, actually, we could even call it uh, 17 if we want. But either way, the total here should be about 41, right? Or 40, let's say, just for rough numbers. If we add 21 to that, we get about 61, right? If you add 15 more to that, you get like what? So remember, we had uh, 61, you add 15, you get 76 or so. Now, at 76, that means we roughly should have 24% left. Now, 23.2 and 16 certainly add up to more than 24. So if you sum this with your calculator, you will see that it's over 1. So this means it's not a probability distribution. If you want to be certain, just type them in. So 0.243 plus 0.167 plus 0.213 plus 0.149 plus 0.232 plus 0.164. And when you're finished, you see that it's 116.8%. So it's too high. And that means that uh, this is not a probability distribution. Somehow or another, they've messed up on one of these probability calculations, or um, the numbers here are just not accurate altogether. All right, so example 62, the answer to the question is, it's not a probability distribution.